how I painted this. Hey, Shwan. Hey, Bobby. <laughs> Welcome to another How I Painted This. Thank you so much for joining me. This one is a little turnip creature. Now, before we go on any further, just a reminder to subscribe to this channel so that you can find this channel again. Also, hit the notification button so you'll be notified when there's a new video. Now, kind of interesting about thing about this was, you see, I just took an older painting and then I cloned and, uh, you know, took out the characters and just kind of like had something to start off with. I've seen Craig Mullins do that all the time, you know. I was going to say, yeah, he totally did the same thing for Toronto's workshop. That was the first time I saw something like that. It's so smart. You know, it just it's so much easier to just start, have a starting point instead of the dreaded, scary, blank canvas. And also you're working from a palette that you're already familiar with that you have used before as well. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, the painting that I put in the background was a traditional painting. So that makes it kind of special. And the other thing I want to mention here was that I start to use this painting plus smudging technique that I really started to love after using uh, Procreate for a bunch of uh, weeks. Yeah, I can see that. That's not usually how you, how you paint, actually. This is kind of like, I remember you telling me this is one of the first few times that you were trying to uh, apply that procreate method onto uh, Photoshop. Yeah, it's, it's really awesome to learn how to do things in different ways. It just helps to kind of like mutate your skill set and evolve it more and more. Yeah, it was, it was a bit of a struggle, of course, uh, it, like anything, when you start something new and things aren't as familiar. But when you start to really love that struggle, then things get very interesting, you know. Like, uh, I have a few technical questions already, Bobby. Like, how are you deciding to lasso or to paint? Like, how did you know which, uh, where to switch to smudge tool and when you should paint? Really good question. I like the background almost more than the creatures. You totally nailed it. If I was to do this again, I wouldn't rely so much on the clear silhouette that I created with each of these creatures because I found that the edges were just too defined. They're too crispy. Mm -hmm. And that's not how we generally see things. Next time, viewers, next time you look into the darkness, like when it's nighttime or whatever, look at the edge of something. It's actually kind of fuzzy. You don't see a very defined edge. And that's what I wish I did more of with this painting that was, that was a really good mm -hmm. one um i should think about the edges more and which ones should be a little bit fuzzier uh, if i was to do this again however i don't hate the painting at the end i think it's okay it's not my absolute favorite but i think that was also kind of an important thing uh, about this painting to talk about it because not Every artist likes their painting like like it was the best thing that they ever did. So it's kind of important for people to see that too, I think. Mm -hmm. And at this point, you are already trying not to rely on your ink sketch because I keep seeing you like switching it off. You're trying to already make that leap to the final look without the, the sketch, like re without relying too much on the sketch. Yes, yes. There is this point where you have to let go of the sketch depending on what you want to do. For me, anyways, I want to find this point where I could let go of the sketch. And it's not like this very, very gradual thing. There is a point where you just have to kind of commit and you just jump forward and you start to put down precise things. But you got to still refer back to the sketch if the sketch is important. If you're working on something for somebody else, you showed them a sketch the end product should reflect what you handed in and got approved, the initial sketch, right? So later on, you'll see me bring out the sketch and put it down below somewhere, I believe, on a separate little window, you know, so that I can make sure that I'm keeping to the, the overall essence of that sketch. And like that blue, like really blue layer just now was the skylight. 
Yes, ambient light coming from the, the sky, uh, coming down, cooling everything off a little bit, all the surfaces that are pointing towards the sky uh, and don't have any obstruction. Now, the other part to this is that I didn't really know what these little creatures would have been either. So if I was doing this more of like a hardcore painting, I would have did many different versions of these little creatures to find the best design. Overall, again, I kind of like the little creatures. The big creature, not as much. I don't like the eyes. It makes it feel like a Muppet. Don't you think? <laughs> kind of Muppet-like. I would have loved to have the eyes more like beady or something like that, and mm -hmm. they didn't pop out of the head so much. That's what I would have loved. I think it would it would have been so much nicer if the attention was more on the muzzle because the muzzle is kind of cute, you know, to me. Mm -hmm. uh, and the eyes protruding out brings too much attention to the eyes and takes it away from the muzzle. Now, the other thing is you can see I put in some little faint uh, variations into the darker areas, into the shadow of that creature, right? All mm -hmm. of those edges are fuzzy. All of those edges mm -hmm. are fuzzy, and that makes so much sense, doesn't it? And that's why I should have varied up my edges more because I put fuzzy, you know, edges into this illustration. So that means any edges that are crispy, mm -hmm. while they're meant to be crispy, there are fuzzy edges that exist in this image. So that must mean that the artist decided that all of these crispy edges should be that crispy. And that's, that's not right. But anyhow, there's the painting. Um, I hope everybody liked it uh, more than I did. <laughs>